Hi there, my name is Brahim Bouchikhi, I'm a product manager on the Google Play Store. And today I want to talk to you about what's new in Google Play App Discovery. Be together, not the same. This is an Android campaign that's going on right now. It signifies the diversity of the ecosystem. The fact that our users stem from so many different countries, speak different languages, have different interests, use different devices, etc. And this particular diversity makes it both a challenge and an opportunity for us to build a great discovery experience. So I'm going to tell you a bit more about it today. But first, I want to quantify this diversity. We have over a billion users. They come from over 190 countries, speak 63 languages, and issue over 400 million unique search terms each month. Now think about that again. These are 400 million search terms, different interests, different queries, different needs, different questions. The users are coming to the Play Store to find apps that could satisfy, that they could satisfy. So that's really exciting to us, and that just signifies, again, the diversity of the ecosystem. With an ecosystem that's diverse, how do you enable organic discovery? We think of it in three buckets. First is enabling discovery through search. Search is one of the key ways that users discover apps on Google Play. Second is personalizing the browse experience. And finally, it's about enabling exploration, which is slightly different than personalization, as I'll get into later. So let's talk about search. Traditionally, search is a ranking problem. It's about getting the most relevant app at the top of the list. And over the past year, we've invested significant resources in making sure that Google Play Store search is incredibly relevant. But we also took a step back and thought about new ways to serve results on Google Play. And so we came up with this new experience, where results, the organic results, are clustered around topics and concepts that are easily relatable to users. And this does two things. First, it helps users narrow their intent faster. They can easily browse, scroll up and down, and see which of those sub-concepts are they actually relevant to their query. Second, it helps users understand the range of options and the range of apps that are available on Google Play. This experience obviously only works well for queries that are very broad, areas that you can actually break down into sub-concepts. So look for us to continue to invest in this and roll it out further. From our experiments, we've seen that this experience drives a greater total number of install from more unique apps, and very importantly, by more unique developers. All really, really good things for our ecosystem. So let's talk about personalizing the store. One of the insights we've had is that there is really no average user when you have an ecosystem like ours. When you have over a billion users and they issue 400 million search terms each month, you really don't have a prototypical user or interest you can design for. And in fact, if you build a product for the average, you will most likely end up with a suboptimal experience. So we've invested a lot in making sure that the Play Store is relevant and highly personal to our users. We think of it as one user, one store. And so if you're a user interested in hiking and fitness, you may see this Play Store. If you're someone who's interested in learning new languages and photography, you may see this one. And most importantly, we've learned that personalization really drives an increase in installs, and in fact, doubles the likelihood that a user will install an app. This is intuitive. If you see something that's relevant to you, you're more likely to install it. But the magnitude of the improvement is what's really interesting here. So as you build your apps, your experiences, I'd recommend looking at personalization as a way to drive an increase in growth, just like we did here on the Play Store. Finally, let's touch on enabling exploration. Exploration is different than personalization. Exploration tries to be a bit more tangential. If you've installed a number of apps of this type, I'm going to give you a few apps that are slightly different. And that's what we're trying to grow and do more of on the Play Store, broaden users' interests and help them explore more. Over the past year, we've launched the developer pages. These are home pages for developers on the Play Store. And what this does is if a user is browsing a developer's app details page, they will see a collection, a rich collection, that when they click on, they go to this homepage. In here, they see a featured app by the developer, then they see all of their apps. They can then navigate to one of those apps, discover a similar app, and so on. 
discontinuous cycle of discovery and browsing and, and pivots is really healthy for the product and enables exploration. We wanted to invest in more. Next is Google Play for families, which we also launched this year. Families are an important segment for Google Play and offering them a discovery experience that helps them find apps is really, really important to us. One of the neat experiences we've built is this character picker. For example, if your kids are obsessed with Superman or Dora, you can easily come here and see the icon for that particular character, probably the same way they're dressed, and find apps and games and books and movies that are relevant to them very easily. This is a really fun discovery experience for parents. Finally, look for us to invest more in context-based discovery. Whether time-based or location-based, we'll look to aggregate apps based on that context and serve them up to users just at the right time or the right place. Whether it's living in New York or Mumbai or whether it's the weekend or the evening, we'll start serving up more of these apps to our users. It's not a way, again, to drive exploration of the store. Thank you so much for listening in, and stay tuned to the Google Developer Channel for more content. Thank you.